Now we are doing the L3 block. We're going to work directly from the book. This is an assembly that you're going to work on the center out. You're going to assemble this center section and then add these two and then add these two and these first layer are background color and then these two and then these two are focus fabric and then I'm going to assemble each corner before I'm going to attach it to the final block. So I've got them in this very exploded layout. So from my from my basting standpoint I'm going to Based opposite sides of the squares so you know these and then these for example and then for my triangles I'm going to base the legs of the triangle first and then the hypotenuse because that way my tags will go away from the center if I do it the other way I'm going to have all these tags in the middle here this way they're going to be on this so I will get started with assembly of my center section so I've got the center started I've attached the two opposing pieces, and now I'm going to attach, baste and attach my other two to form the center square. So my center square section is all completed, and so now I'm going to attach the rectangles, and I'm going to attach the shorter of the two rectangles before I attach the two longer ones. I'm going to baste the shorter sides first, and then the longer sides and then attach one at a time. So I'm attaching my first piece to my center. And as a reminder, when you go to tape it, you wanna tape it on each end. Make sure that this is lined up here and this is lined up here. And so I'm gonna stitch about this far, tie off and come back here. You're gonna have some dimension. So you can kind of see that's poked up. That's normal. So that as I come, when I start my second side, as I come into here, I'm going to make a little X so that it takes up and it, and it pulls these pieces together. I have this in my flat back stitch video, but you just want to make sure that you're doing this every time you attach these sides so that it minimizes this distance and makes this fit into this piece. So I've got the first two sides attached to my center portion. And now I will be taking the longer two and attaching them to the other sides. So I have the center section with the first border on and it's really dimensional. As you force it into shape, you're going to have this poochiness and um, that will come out. Once you get the papers out, that will come out in, in quilting and stuff. So don't get too worried about that. And so the next section, we're going to put the shorter borders on the sides like we did with this one. So we're going to put this here and then we'll be able to attach the other two. Same basting technique. So I have the first two pieces of the next border attached. And now I'm going to attach the two longer pieces to the other two sides. So I've got the second border around the center portion of my square. So this section is all completed. Now I'm just going to assemble the corner units, which consist of a long piece with an angle on it, a shorter piece, and then a triangle. So I will put the shorter piece on the triangle first, and then I will put the longer pieces on the connected unit. And I will do that um, for all four pieces. So I have basted my three pieces for this corner. I have done the legs of the triangle and then the hypotenuse so that the tags are going away from this center section, making it easier to assemble. And then on these, I've basted this short end and the angled end before doing the long ends so that I have less uh, tags and less bulk to deal with on the edges and the same exact thing for here. So now I'm going to attach this piece to the triangle. Here's one of the corner units I've assembled and I have the three others to do so I'm going to attach this to its corner. I've got a directional fabric so I want to make sure that everything stays in the right direction. So I will attach it in its place and then I will assemble the opposite corner and attach that. 
So now I have assembled and attached my opposite corner on my center square. And so now I will assemble and attach one of the other sides. So I've attached my third corner and I've assembled the last one and I just have to attach it to the main section. So I've attached my final corner and my L3 block is now complete.